Hi everybody, this is Beach Cricket, and today we are going to talk about tidying up inside our rig so you don't feel like you're going wacko inside here in a small space. Because believe me, when I first started out in a van, I couldn't even find, the first thing I couldn't find was a can opener. <laughs> I was all packed up in there. I had just packed up too much stuff in my van and I pulled off to a beautiful little park, walked the dogs, and then I was hungry. And I couldn't find the can opener because I wanted to make a chicken salad. <laughs> so anyway, let's have a day of organization tips. So you will feel okay in this nomadic life, getting out here and living this lifestyle. Most of us have small rigs. Now I'm in a shuttle bus, so it's not as hectic as it was when I was in the van. But don't get me wrong, I love the van. It was so much fun traveling in her for the first two years of my nomadic life. Okay, let's start. Now Roxy is going to demonstrate my first point. Hi, Roxy. Whoop, there's Riley too. Okay, it really makes a big difference if you make your bed every day. It's just a great organization skill that will make you feel so much better by having your bed all tidied up. <laughs> Riley, you got a little itchy. <laughs> Shake it off. Anyway, it makes you so much, it makes you just feel so better when you walk into your rig and your bed is made. It is, I cannot tell you, because you're living in a small space and you go in and out of your rig all the time and it just makes you feel a lot more tidier. Isn't that right, Riley? Yeah. And I have to give them a little blanket right there on my bed so that they can, bur she especially, so she can burrow. Because otherwise, my bed would get all rambled up. So, this is an important one. Now, it's pretty common for a lot of us uh, nomads to use all kinds of little containers to store our different things. And I'm no different. And of course, you know I like teal, so most of my stuff is going to be in that color. But this is my little two-drawer cabinet. It's kind of like my medicine cabinet because it is um, my personal hygiene product. I have uh, four different ones up here. I have incense right in the back. Some personal things like Kleenex. These are all the different kind of... Uh, vitamin supplements that I take every morning and this is uh, general maintenance like brushing your teeth and and uh, gargling and that kind of stuff and putting on lotion. I always have those right on hand so that I don't have to look for them. The next table, uh, I mean the next drawer is just um, some more vitamins and different things. If you notice I have them either in baskets or in little ziplocks and that's kind of a normal thing for me um, here is my personal stuff and to keep me not going crazy I know where my brushes are and I know where like where the mascara is the lipstick is you know all this kind of stuff nail polish all kinds of things for trimming my nails and buffing my nails, that kind of stuff. It's all in little Ziploc bags. I even have some little inexpensive spray cologne whenever I want to do that. But anyway, it's all at a finger's touch and you can see through them and it just helps so much in the morning when, okay, maybe I just want to put eyeliner and mascara on. All I have to do is look in here, pick up the Ziploc bag and I'm good to go. It saves me a lot of crazy time. <laughs> I don't want to just open this drawer and this is all in a basket, all jumbled up and I can't find anything. So it saves me a lot of 
time and craziness. Okay. Just like on the Price is Right, what's behind door number one? Well, curtain number one, actually. Here we go. This is some shoe caddies that I have secured onto my little bar that holds the curtains. And this is uh, just some extra things, like when I have a cold, you know, the extra vitamin C, cold relief stuff, um, all kinds of probiotics, all kinds of things like that. I have a little extra in here, Vicks Vapor Rub, all that, and hand sanitizer. So that's what's behind curtain number one. It makes it easy. I know where that all is. And now we have curtain number two. And this is my electronic stash for my wires that I need for various things. My Bluetooth speaker, my little Microsoft towels. I even have a little disco light. <laughs> and um, my little controls for the TV and the Roku. So I have all of that here and all the little cords you need when you need to charge something up. It's, it's all in here. So it's tucked away behind a curtain so that you don't see it and it's organized and I don't have to go crazy trying to find it. Along with that, my TV, I have a 12 volt TV. Now this is really nice because having it on this stand to hold it is great because you can always move it around and um, you don't have to worry about moving it, putting it aside, all that kind of different stuff because you know it's always there and it's always safe. I just um, use a bungee when I travel and it's secure. Curtain number three, I've got it open so that you can see this is kind of my little snack area. <laughs> I have all of it so that I can get to it really quick when I have a snack attack. <laughs> so this is what this is all about. Curtain number four is right here and it's all my hot chocolate and all my tea selections. I love tea, hot tea. I make, make it cold once in a while. But anyway, it's just simply as easy as pulling a curtain by and looking behind it. And I don't have to search for it. I know where it is. Okay, and over here, this is something new I just recently did, and I really, really like it. This is a basket with everything I need as far as my utensils, my plates. Hey, and there's that can opener. <laughs> So, lighters, all that dishes, so I know it's all in one spot. I don't have to worry about it. It's secure, and I can get to it. And I can't tell you how important it is to keep your refrigerator. Now, this is my winter. It's a 45-quart, and um, it's so important to put things in a way that you know where they're at. Like my cold drinks are primarily on this side and um, on this side I have cheese and my meat. I have all that in here. So all the meats are here. Sandwiches, cheese, all that stuff is right there so that I don't have to go searching for it. I know where it is and that really is helpful. Plus always check and keep this thing clean. I did that today. Now this is my kitchen area and there's quite a few things I've done here. Um, right on the side I've got all my spices right there so I can just simply grab them and uh, my pot holder to there too. But I have baskets with everything organized like I like it. My spices and the things that I need to get like oil and I have um, apple vinegar um, <laughs> right there because I take that every day. And the coffee stuff, and I drink uh, lime water, so that's why that lime juice is there. Hey, I just got this cup at Walmart. Isn't it cool? I like it. Anyway, all my stuff for coffee, 
and this is some other things, bread, and just things that I need right at hand. I have them in these wonderful baskets. They stay really good, except the cup isn't usually there. <laughs> they stay really nice. And I have lower baskets underneath there. I have little cubby holes also. And I have a mirror. Then I have baskets up here with my hot sauce and more spices. It's five o'clock somewhere, people. And then when I get in a little playful mood, I can play my maracas and my bird whistle. Yes, that is a fire alarm there. I mean, you got to have that for safety. Um, I also have the one for propane near the door. And um, so anyway, and then I always free feed my dogs. So they have water and they have their... Um, wonderful gentle giant dog food so they can always get that when they want it look at them snoozing over there roxy looks so cute yes you do yeah so they can have their food i don't have to worry about it it's all here and neat and organized i have two baskets right here this is for their snackies they get all kinds of goodies. You can see they're not spoiled at all. And then uh, when I need to brush them and all that kind of stuff and trim them, their nails, whatever, it's all right there so I can get to it quickly. Hi, huh, Rox? And Roxy also has, this is the cage. I have it underneath my little cabinet. And the reason why I have it there, Roxy is not a good traveler. And I need her safe when I travel because she'll get under the pedal. And uh, this one, she'll stay right there. She likes it in the bed. She'll stay there, won't cause a fuss or anything. But this one, it's chaos. So she has to be secured. But that's why I have it right here for her. And she likes to go in there and play with her toys. She just started playing with this one toy. So I'm so proud of her. Big big proud dog mommy moment that's her little moose there she loves it it's a baby toy and she loves it so it's really good and uh just to add some charm i have my little dish towels there this is my water container and that's a cutting board and underneath that is a sink so i can wash okay underneath the way i've got it organized here is I have it by sections. Like I have coffee and I have all kinds of coffee products and stuff underneath there. Um, baking system, you know, supplies right here, right here. I like, I like um, the oysters and sardines and things like that. And, and I like to put them on crackers. So that's accessible real quick for there. Cause that's usually a, a little quick snack for me. And underneath here, I have put beans and I put them by categorizing the beans and stuff and uh, vegetables and things like that are there. Behind there are some dishes, pots and pans. On this side is fruits and vegetables and some extra beans. So I have everything organized so that I know where it is and I won't go crazy trying to find, for instance, like a coffee cup. So, you know, it's important to know where your stuff is. Another thing is to organize by what the item is. Like, I have a whole selection of batteries here because I use batteries. A lot of things that I use are uh, for lighting, mostly. Like, a little on and off switch light, which I'm going to put by the door. And um, I just need to change the batteries in that. I also have uh, these little lights. I have three of them staged. I have them one right here, one right here, and one right here hooked onto these baskets. So if I want just subtle lighting, I can turn these things on. They're just push button. You just push it on, and there you go. Hi! <laughs> and the um, second one is low, and that one's a flashing one. And they have a carabiner, and I like them. So, 
those have been really helpful just to have a nice soft lighting in there. That's one of the uses I use those batteries for. And I always have some wipes handy. I have one up here in the kitchen area and I usually have one in the back area where my supplies are so that I can, uh, you know, for makeup and that kind of thing. I usually have one back there in one of those baskets. I also like having the uh, charge controller right on the wall where I can see it. And this helps me a lot so I can be um, more aware of what's going on with my solar situation. I know some people that have them tucked underneath things. And see, I have mine up, up against the wall so I can just simply look at a glance. Also, by my shower, I have a shower rod that's put across it. And that way I have some towels so that they're easy for me when I come pop out of the shower right here. And um, the laundry basket is right here so that it's neatly put there so I know exactly where my dirty clothes are and it just makes it a lot easier. And talking about clothes, let's talk about that on the organization. Okay. So, this is the bench that goes up that I sit on all the time. My bed also has a bench, but this bench here is where I store everything. And here is where the clothes go. Okay, if you notice, there's all these little bags. And that's what I use. I use, this is for the hats. So all these little hats, they'll go into the bag. I've got one already down there. And this is another one because I love hats. So that's what we'll do. We'll put that in there. And this one is my socks. And I do have the little containers to put them together, but I usually fold them together. And see how easy that is? There's two bags of hats there. And here is the bag of socks. They just squish in there really nice. It's so easy for storing. And then this bag is for these little shirts, like the little uh, sleeveless. I wear these a lot of times for undershirts. They're just comfortable for me, so... These two I just laundered and I'm going to put them in that bag. And actually, I've got two bags of undershirts. So you can see they just squish all together real easily. And it's just so convenient. I know where they're at. Now, the shirts are folded like in fourths. I fold them in fourths. And um, they're all on this side. And my shorts and pants are on this side. I have one big tub, and that concludes where the clothes are at. Now, to make things a lot easier for me as far as laundry, I have, I have my little laundry sack here, the little strap on it, you know, and I have my little laundry packs. I've got clothespins if I want to hang them outside. This is the doggies' little area. This is their clothes, their harnesses, extra stuff like that. And this is a container full of dog food. And this is a whole big old bag, brand new, that's in here so that it will be protected from little critters. So I had the dog food in there. And their dog selections of things are right here. So I know where to go for that. So I don't have to go, where the heck is the dog food? Where is this dog sweater? Whatever. And I have a bag of bandanas because I like to wear bandanas in my hair. And um, sometimes I use them for dust when the desert stirs up a lot of dust. And it's just fantastic. So I know where they're at. It's so easy when you're organized. This section is really kind of, uh, it looks a little bit disarrayed, but it's really not. Um, I have my shoes in this big bag and in this bag. I have shoes. I have extra food that I, uh, you know, like pastas and uh, beans, dried beans and things like that, that uh, I didn't have any place to store them at. 
Um, of course, my um, adult beverage is right there. My natural light, I do like that every now and then. And this is kind of misleading right here. What I just moved, that's a, a rice cooker. Um, right here, I like walnuts, <laughs> can you tell? Um, all under here is, in a tote, is all my beading. I have four containers in here. I love to bead and I love to craft, so I know where they're at. They're right there. And so that makes it a lot easier for me when I know where my shoes are, I know where my rice cooker is, because that's a new purchase and it didn't fit underneath the sink. So it has to go here. And um, that's my little jewelry box. There's a few things in there. And it makes it a lot easier so I can craft and I can put on my shoes because I know where the heck they are. It just occurred to me that you might want to know how this works. This is really very rudimental. <laughs> All it is is a stick that has been drilled through with a bolt, bolted, and it can move so that it can hold the little top up. And then when you're ready, just lift it up, it goes down, and there you go. You are back into bench mode again. See, that's a big, beautiful bench. Although, uh, in the future, I've got some new ideas I might do. But I am loving the bus and how I've got it organized because it does make it simple for me to live <laughs> and not drive me crazy. Now, the real trick about being organized is that um, you've got to realize that you can't keep everything, and a lot of us have um, that tendency to hoard and hold on to things that we think we just can't live without. This life does help in that way because you're in a, a, you're in a spot of um, a certain dynamics of dimensions that you cannot have everything that you had in your sticks and bricks. So it gives you um, an opportunity to learn how to get rid of stuff and go a little bit minimal. And it's not easy because most people are attached to things. Um, I don't know what it is about that, but we are. So it, the organization skills, if you can get it down so that you can keep everything that you really like, then maybe you won't be so bad. <laughs> But you're not going to be able to keep everything. You have to learn that organizing has got to make some sense and be productive. And it's got to be useful to be able to maneuver in your life and not be cluttered. So, just a thing to think about. Now, my girls usually, um, they don't really care that much about toys. I have bought them all kinds of things to try to encourage a little play with them. They do like to play. Um, Riley used to have a little duck that she used to sing to, but somehow it got lost. So we have other little squeakies and stuff, but as far as the pets go, have their things so that you can get to them. So I have a basket that I know where all their toys are um, in case they do play with them. And I have, of course, I showed you earlier, which it looks a little discombobulated because I just fed them a treat, but <laughs> they have their grooming stuff right here too. Um, so that you know where they're at when you want to give them a treat or you want them to be able to have access to their toys. I think one of the best things that um, I have found that has made my life so much easier is this. It's long. It's real long. <laughs> so, this far with it. So it helps like at nighttime when I'm streaming on the TV here and um, I have to use my phone as a tether. Uh, you know, it's, it's nice. I can be right here in bed with the girls, right there. <laughs> and I don't have to worry about moving around and it's wonderful. Just one of those neat little tools that makes your life so much better. <laughs> it was at a gas station I found this. And it was only like $13. A good good deal. 
really long. <laughs> Love it. I even use, utilize uh, space behind my driver's seat here. Um, I have these little pet gates and I have uh, a big table and I can just slide it in there. You have to learn how to get your nooks and crannies, you know, taken care of, get your op optimal use for everything that you have. And it makes life so easy because see, it's all right here behind the driver's seat. And that way I can just simply take it out the door. Yeah, I have a, I have a little gate right here right now. So the dogs won't be able to get out so <laughs> but yeah see I'm right here at the door and I can go outside and I can use either one the gates or the the uh, table because it's just so easy access I won't have to hunt it down it's right there so I hope that uh, this has helped you an awful lot um, on thinking about how to organize your um, bus, your van, any kind of rig you've got, because when you're living the nomadic life, you've got to make use of every crevice, corner that there is, and I hope that those were some ideas that you can utilize to make it simple for you. Um, it's just amazing, this lifestyle. I just can't believe it. Every time I wake up in the morning, I'm like, thank you, Heavenly Father, because I feel so blessed to be able to live this lifestyle, live the nomadic life, and share it with all of you. And I hope that you can tell that, that um, I'm trying to always be truthful and honest, the good and the bad, whatever happens in the scenario in my life, I share it with you. I just think that you have to know the real deal if you're gonna make this decision to live nomadic because it's a lot, it's a lot to handle, but it's a lot of joy too. So, with that, nomadic life rocks, people, and wake up and live and have your adventures. Beach Cricket out. Bye-bye, everybody.